Hi, is that Leif? It does, yeah. Hi, it's Howard here from Camden Town Radio. Oh, hey, how's things? Good, thanks. Welcome to the show. Ah, thank you very much. It's an honour. So, are you up in Scotland at the moment? Up in Scotland currently, yep. Uh, just south of Glasgow. OK. Uh, about half an hour out of Glasgow, aye. Right. Is that where you grew up? Uh, so, I actually grew up in East Kilbride, which uh, is about two minutes away from where I currently am. OK. Um, but, you know, I just say Glasgow because it's like somebody that stays 30 minutes away from a place that nobody knows about, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So... Yes, that it's makes sense. Yes, that asks. Yes, oh, that makes sense. Yes. So, I believe you've just had a new single come out, is that right? Yep. Uh, so the new single's called I Wanna Love. Um, and it's a kind of dipping my toes into the... The, kind of the, full, the full EP is actually kind of dipping my toes into the the best parts of the 80s. Oh, well, right. Um, with a bit of kind of the modern finesse that uh, pop music today has. Yes. Yes, that makes sense. Because is it right you're in the electronic music scene? Yes. So, I, I mean, I would say it's probably like quite electronic pop. Yes. Because um, I do like I do like electronic music. I love pop music. And I just like catchy songs. You can't be a good catchy song. Yes. Oh, yes, definitely. Yes. And I believe the electronic music scene is, is very strong in Scotland. I, do you know, there's been a kind of surge in Scotland for... Um, music in general yeah um, and it's been like even the hip hop scene is brilliant the hip hop scene's really coming up yes um, and uh, the, the electronic scene the people like Lura uh, Talia who's brilliant like they're kind of really kind of pushing the, the envelope of um, kind of alt pop electro pop yeah so it's just it's brilliant man yeah so there's certainly a lot going on up there plenty of venues to play at and not enough bagpipes. Oh, right. <laughs> yes. And I believe you played a show at King Tut's in Glasgow last year. It was um, with BBC Introducing uh, when they came to Glasgow. Uh, the show was brilliant. Um, so it was with two other acts. Yes. Um, and they were, they were brilliant as well. Um, so uh, it, was, it was a class night. It's kind of nice after COVID to get everybody together. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, even even still, I know that it's kind of been maybe like just under a year since we've all kind of came back, but it's it's good because you make contacts contacts that have been made over the last kind of few years. Yes. Now you're starting to kind of see everybody, so it's nice that the scene is kind of coming alive again. Yes, because I remind our listeners that many years ago the band Oasis were, well, they were signed yes. at the venue King Tuts. They were signed by Alan McGee, who was. Alan McGee, yes. yes. Alan McGee. It's a girl that I know's uh, uncle, actually. Oh, right, and, okay. Uh, so that kind was of... basically like the, the start of their career. Yeah. Which is, so King Tuts is it's obviously historical. It's got a brilliant name. Yes. Uh, so it's it brilliant playing there. He's actually from East Gobride, which is, is the the town where, where I'm from. That's, ah. It's uh, not given enough recognition because everybody just says that it's Glasgow. Which, of course, would never be me. I would, I would always pay homage to, to my roots. Yeah. It's nice to... That a successful person has come out of this small town. In terms of influences, do you have any musicians from Scotland that have influenced you, would you say? Well, so my, my great uncle, he was, um, he was in a band called the GSD Band. OK. Um, yeah. And they were kind of... I mean, they were touring with Bowie in the 60s or 70s, I can't remember when exactly it was, but um, so I would say the influence is almost in the genes. Yes, you've got a musical um, family. <laughs> exactly, so it's, it kind of it kind of makes it a natural progression for me to just kind of start getting into it, but yes. um, from Scotland, I mean, the, even the Jesus and Mary chain, yes. brilliant. Um, it's nice to just kind of know that that occurred and that there is, <laughs> there is hope. Yes. There is hope for us yet. That's right, yes. Now, I guess a lot of those artists eventually made their way to the South to do to play shows, so is that something you'd like to do in the future, to come down to London and do some shows down here? Oh, absolutely. I think um, we'll do a wee kind of tour in the summertime. All right. Um, and then we'll be stopping off various locations where nobody has an absolute clue right. who, who, who I am but I'll 
I'll put on a show and I'll recruit some, I'll recruit some fans. Scotland's brilliant, but uh, it's better to obviously be down uh, where the kind of ha- where, where everything's happening. Um, and obviously, London, Camden, brilliant. Do you know what I mean? So, what sort of other venues have you played at? In is it mostly around Glasgow? Then you've played or? Aye, mostly around Glasgow. Yeah. Um, I've played at a few, a few uh, places, the Cools, Stereo, which is a brilliant kind of small capacity places. Yeah. But supported, um, you might know Noisy, uh, that are from England. Oh, yeah. Not too sure where. Uh, Sad Night Dynamite, I think they're from Coventry, maybe. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I supported these guys when they came up on their tour. Okay, yeah. Um, and it's, it's, it's brilliant because you, you get the Glasgow crowd. Which is always a, always a bonus. Yes, because they are known as being a, well, very enthusiastic crowd. I know. At, <laughs> at, yeah, they always look forward to going to Glasgow on tour because they can always guarantee a great audience up there. A hundred percent. I think there's there's something about the mentality of um, Scottish people that's just a bit kind of unhinged, <laughs> shall we yes. say. So um, the the manifestation of that come, comes out in its full form. Yes. Uh, is it Barrowland? Is that one of the main? Aye, Barrowland. Stiff Little Fingers just played there last night, actually. Ah, OK. Um, they do a kind of show every, every St Paddy's Day. So oh, right. I think that was... But Bar- Barrowlands is brilliant. That's, I still would love to play the Barrowlands. Yes. I mean, it's called Barrowlands because it used to be an old uh, market. Oh, OK. So wheelbarrow. People would sell things on the wheelbarrows. Ah, right. And then it just kind of became the Barrowlands. Oh, I see that. the Barrows. So, uh, it's, there, there's, a wee, there's a wee history <laughs> lesson. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. I'm talking through history. Yeah. And I believe you've got quite a following on TikTok. Yeah, it's just kind of accumulated, like probably most people on TikTok, over over lockdown. I just started posting nonsense comedy sketches. Yes. Um, and then it accumulated a, a kind of a wee kind of group of followers. Uh, so now, aye, that's a kind of the other avenue, uh, or the other, sorry, the other uh, face to yeah. the to the game, I suppose. Where oh, it's yeah. just there's the music, and then there's these comedy sketches, and just uh, <laughs> as soon as people have had a laugh, then they get sent over to the to listen to the real the real goods. Now you did mention that you you have an EP out as well, is that right? So the, yeah, so the first two singles are now out. Um, so the first one was called Feel It. Yes. Uh, this one's called I Wanna Love. The next one coming up is called Falling In Love Again. And that's with a, a producer artist called um, What O. Oh yeah. Recently just did a, a, a tune with um, Sophie Ellis Baxter. Oh okay, yes. There's a wee impromptu ah. um, song for you there. All right. Um, and then, so we've got that tune coming out next, which is, if I don't say so myself, a banger. Right. Um, so the full EP should be out July time ish. Um, so that's exciting. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah. Can I be now? You were saying you're hoping to get down to London this summer. Absolutely, and hopefully before then, just for some meetings, some uh, recce. Yes. Um, just to kind of see what's what's going on, so that when when the time comes, when the shows are ready to happen, it's all systems go. I'm a big fan of Amy Winehouse, so I, I think. Uh, in fact, the, the, so the, uh, the singer Ray that uh, that uh, escapism. Oh yes. Those two are very very similar in their kind of uh, demeanour. In terms of your performance, are you performing with other musicians, or what's your stage setup? So I actually. The, the band is going through a bit of a revamp just now, so okay. a, a, couple of, a couple of the members are part of two other bands, so it's just that there's a bit of time juggling that's having to go in there, so ah, yes. from now on, my dad will be on the guitar, oh, right. absolutely shredding the guitar, right. um, <laughs> there'll be a, a, a bassist and then a drummer, and then I have, I'll play a bit of guitar, yes. guitar um, and then on, so I, I have played with my laptop as well, Okay. Yes. Um, so we just get some kind of... Because I'm coming at it from the, the producer side, so yes. I want everything to sound like how it sounds in the final track. So there'll be some effects or um, just extra kind of features in the track that can't be played live. So that'll be I'll be making sure that that is 100 percent in the in the final live show. It sounds like you've been interested in, in music your whole life, have you? It's always been a 
the passion. Oh yeah, I, I mean ever kind of since I can remember, it's always been um, a big kind of feature in my whole family's life, really. Yeah. Cause we come from a kind of uh, Irish Catholic upbringing, so it's like it's all about kind of family and music, and uh, so it's always been parties um, where we're all just kind of crowding round playing, playing guitar, singing, okay. singing the Irish songs. So uh, it's always been it's always been very prominent. All right, so you got into music in an organic way, really, with family gatherings yeah, yeah, and yeah. and music being played. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Always instruments around the house. Well, thanks, Leif, for joining us on the show today. We wish you the best with the upcoming EP and also your shows later this year. Well, thank you very much for having me. It's been a pleasure chatting. I'm Leif Caulfield, and this is Camping Town Radio. Keep rocking. Yeah.